Are you guys ready to hear your first featured comedian? We are. Yes? All right. Our first featured comedian tonight is a good guy. He does shows every Tuesday at Northwoods in uh, St. John. Please welcome to the stage with a round of applause, Nathan Gibson, everyone. Nathan Gibson. You're so pretty. That joke. I thought they were gonna let me pull. They're gonna pull me out really quick about that. So, um, if you haven't noticed, I am really tall. I am uh, six foot six or three midgets on top of each other in one full body suit. Um, and this really, I want to tell a story my mom told me the other day. Um, when I was in first grade, this is true. I was over four feet tall. So. I was the size of, say, like a third or fourth grader, but I was in first grade. And so uh, my parents had me play with third and fourth graders. And apparently a mom came her up to her one day and was like, so how does it uh, feel like raising a special needs child? <laughs> Wait, what? Like, your, your kid has special needs. No, my kid's in first grade. <laughs> Which I've always looked kind of older and the other day, I was trying to flirt with a girl, which that is as awkward as it would, you would think it would be. And I was hitting on her, and then uh, she turned to her friends like, I think this 30-year-old's hitting on me. Which is really weird, because I'm 23. <sighs> I actually went to a concert last night uh, for a band called the Cold, uh, Cold War Kids. I really love that band, but I... Do what I always do, I made it extremely awkward because they were actually outside after the show and these girls wanted to get a picture with them and uh, they gave me the, pit, uh, the camera and they're like, flash, because that's how a camera works. But they're, I was like, can I get a picture afterwards? And the girl goes, no, because you're not a girl with boobs. Which I went, hey, my boobs are just as nice as yours. <laughs> so. I go on the internet a lot, and I'm on this thing called Facebook, and friend me, and I found this thing, and I wanted to share it with everybody. This 
so is um, our website that's on Facebook. And it, there's two people, Sarah and Scott. And Sarah goes, hello, everyone. I'm terribly sorry to post this, but my uncle Scott passed away this week. And what I know is that he loved our Lord and will be spending Easter in his presence that we can only imagine. I will miss him so much. Now, that's very heartfelt. Like, like Sarah just really loved his uncle. First response to that, Scott, roar on a zombie raised from the dead. <laughs> Two hours later, Scott, <laughs> no, seriously, this is Dan just deleting Dad's old Facebook. <laughs> so, <laughs> I know. So I was thinking about that. First of all, it took two hours later. So what crap did he get during those two hours? <laughs> Second of all, it made me think, like, when I pass away, at 27, so it's relevant, uh, when I pass away, I want to hire somebody to just make a zombie Nathan Facebook. And it would just be, like, status is like, <sighs> <sighs> Nathan likes Nickelback. Because you have to be brain dead to like Nickelback. <laughs> Do you think, like, fans of Nickelback also just only get generic stuff? Like, like a daughter comes home, dad sees, is that a Pepsi? This family only drinks Sam's Choice. <laughs> and seriously, if you did not like that joke, you shouldn't really be here right now, because Walgreens sells big flats for 50 cents a can. You could be home, at home right now listening to Larry the Cable Guy. <laughs> All right. Um, I, I've been biking lately, and I saw a bumper sticker that said, I love my wife. Which, honestly, if you need a bumper sticker that says, I love my wife, there are more problems than you actually need to have. Like, I'm pretty sure that was Scott Peterson's car I dropped that. <laughs> and to make it more relevant, if Casey Anthony had a bumper sticker that say, I love my kids. Oh. You know what? I am totally agreeing with you. That should not have just happened. <laughs> so... I'm on a diet right now. I, I'm hoping it's working. Um, it's called bulimia. It's, um, don't, don't knock until you try it. It's, it's great. It's like twice a taste, zero calories. It's excellent. Um, are there any Cubs fans in here? Yeah, I was at FYE the other day, and they have these headphones for Cubs fans. Uh, they have the Cubs logo on the ears. I'm like, that's pretty cool, but you also have to wonder, like, Will these also stop working in October? <laughs> Just saying. So, um, when I came up here, I was, uh, had a shirt that was Justin Bieber. I love JB. It was not, I love Je uh, Jeff Bridges. So, um, it was weird because the first time I ever saw a Justin Bieber uh, video, let me describe it to you. It was him at his house, and he gets a call from Usher, who's a popular R&B star. He's like, hey, I'm having a party. You should come by. Skip to the party. And it's Justin Bieber and a bunch of 14-year-old girls, and he's going after one of the 14-year-old girls. And that's cool, like young puppy love. That doesn't say much for Justin Bieber, but that says a lot for Usher. Like, why are there so many 14-year-old girls at Usher's house? Do the parents know about this? Makes me want to go, oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about that. Alright. So, a little bit about me that also might involve some dancing is um, I like progressive radio. So, liberal radio, Democrats radio. And there's only one station here. It's 99.9. .9, and um, in the beginning, it's like, Ed Helms and a bunch of political talk, but at night they turn, change over to like DJ club music, which used to sound really tacky, but then I was like, started to realize like that's a great message. It's like, we're Democrats. We fight for your rights during the day. We fight for the people. But at night, we like to dance. So Barack Obama. Civil rights, union rights, union rights, union rights. That is how I demonstrate union rights. Um, I really hope I start making money from this, because I really want to fund what I'm really passionate about, is I want to be a candle maker. Um, I want to make, create a company called Sleepy Time Candles, which will be like 
scents are very relaxing. They'll start off very like very relaxing, like dandelions and chamomile, and then move up the scents. They'll just make you tired, like chloroform um, and ether. All right, I've got one more joke for you guys. Um, I was driving past uh, Gary to the train station to go see Cold War Kids. Woo! And um, I drive past this stri uh, strip club, don't go in, but I drive past this strip club called Too Much Temptation. And on the, they have a billboard to the side that says 12 girls, apparently dis displaying how much temptation is there. It made me wonder, like, why, how did that all get together? I'm imagining there's like a manager and two guys in charge of setting things up. And the manager's like, okay, progress report. You, Anthony. What happened? Well, um, I got the uh, girls ready. I just hired them. We got six girls for the strip club. And the manager's like, great. This is going to be great. And the second guy just like raises his hands, kind of like so eager. He's like, get up, uh, guys. I also hired six girls. I thought I was in charge of this. Are you kidding me? Oh, uh, me louder is the only way to get this crowd response. <laughs> and that proved it. Are you kidding me? This is way too much temptation for this trip. So oh. <laughs> how do we display that we have way too much temptation? We could possibly put a billboard displaying how much temptation there is. Brilliant! Uh, thank you guys. I'm Nathan Gibson. Have a good night.